Welcome to Inspect Your Lux. I'm Julia and the next couple of days I'll be spending at one of the most spectacular, luxurious and discreet hotels in the world, Royal Vazur. just a five-star hotel, it's an experience itself because everything here is so unique. And actually, Royal Mansour is in the middle of Marrakech in the chaos, but you don't feel it because it's completely closed off by its very, very tall walls. Royal Mansour was actually commissioned by the Moroccan king, so there was absolutely no budget. That is actually possible to see on all the amazing, amazing details. Everything here is completely unique onto its finest detail here, you can see that. actually was built from 1,500 different craftsmen. So all the details here are made from a lot of different specialized craftsmen. The interesting thing here is that there are no standard rooms, only 53 private riads. That is actually what, what makes Royal Mansour a mini Medina itself. The spot here at Royal Mansour, which is called this spot, has a really spectacular interior and architecture. It almost looks like a birdcage or a place where people would have their weddings. Food plays a huge role, therefore there are several fine dining restaurants. There's Moroccan fine dining, uh, French cuisine, and also international food. All three restaurants here are actually led by the French three-star Michelin chef Yannick Aleno. And in Royal Mansour here between all the 53 riyadh, there are actually several places that has like a map for people who are bad at finding ways such as me. And if you're completely screwed, there is even a phone in case that you just can't find your riyadh and you need help. 53 riyadhs and this is the one that I'm going to stay in for the next couple of days. I'm excited! Hello, I am Tisa. I'm the local After giving you, or while giving you the tour, our butler has managed to put all of my stuff from my suitcase very, very thoroughly. Everything is just on point, nothing to worry about. This is our Riyadh where I'll be staying the next couple of days with my beautiful personal assistant Yosefa. I just got a shower and now I think that I will go and take a beautiful walk in the spa garden. <laughs> Let's take a stroll together. <laughs> and lemon trees and orange trees and lime trees everywhere. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> this is actually a fig tree. Small figs. My favorite fruit. So this is the spa garden which is very green, <laughs> botanic and quiet and fruitful and now looking at all the oranges I think that I'll head towards dinner. So see you a little bit later for dinner! dinner with my beautiful personal assistant Yosefa in my own private Riyadh because here the setting is so nice and so authentic that I just like to have a Moroccan dinner here and it is of course possible here at Wilma Sur as everything is possible. So this is who is joining me for dinner tonight in our own private Riyadh here at Wilma Sur. Thing about 
without eating in your own reaction. <laughs> I'm just going to do something special for you guys since there's a little time between the main course and the dessert. I'm going to sing a song for you guys. And nowhere is more beautiful than doing it here at the center of our react. Do you like it all? Who doesn't like it all? <coughs> when the rain is blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I can offer you a warm embrace You ain't seen nothing like me yet so long since I've sang the song, I don't even know the lyrics. But in case you want to hear something else, just please leave a comment and I'll try to do the best that I can for you. And now it's time to dessert. This is how the Moroccans pour the tea. Ta -da! I'm really full and I can't wait to sleep in this beautiful bed. Um, so now I'm going to put on the cozy nice robe and remove my makeup and finally go to sleep. And every day here at Women Sur you get a couple of these ones and one of them is a makeup remover which I actually need right now. Rock Maroc is amongst the first high-end beauty brands here in Morocco. So as nice as it gets. Good morning and welcome back to my face! This is my first morning here at Royal Mansour. Right now I am dressed for the spa because I have a treatment here at 9.30. Let's go! So now I got this one to file in. It's very thorough. very spacious, very light, and it almost feels like you're in a botanic garden somewhere. My treatment is in five minutes, and I'm very excited because this spa is supposed to be amongst the best ones. And by the way, I'm reading a book. It's called Feel the Fear. I don't know if you ever heard about it. If you need some book advice for your travels, here it is. Anyways, five minutes till my treatment, and I'm all set. I just finished the treatment and I don't think you will ever see me like this again. I have never been so relaxed. Oh my god. This was crazy. I forgot to tell you that after the treatment you can go into the relaxation room which is here and have a little lemon ginger drink. Today breakfast is being served right here. Hello. Cheese, fruits, soup, crepe, french toast, scrambled egg, soft boiled eggs, pastries, and Moroccan tea. And yogurt is on its way. It's a little bit hot today, but when you're not used to hot water, it's nice to be outside and drink freshly squeezed orange juice. Tonight I'm eating dinner at Le Grand Sable Maroc, which is a fine dining restaurant here at Royal Mansour. And as you will see just in a minute, the architecture is absolutely amazing here, very sophisticated and very, very Moroccan authentic.
So I'm sitting here with the manager of Royal Mansour, which is Mr. Misson. First of all, thank you so much for having me here at Royal Mansour. It has been such a wow experience. This hotel is just a piece of art itself. So my first question here to Mr. Misson is, what is the best thing about working here at Royal Mansour? I love your question. My simple answer would be, in terms of gastronomy, art, culture, um, is to make it the showcase and, uh, and the treasure of the kingdom. So that's a simple answer. How do you maintain such high guest standards on a daily basis? I guess it all starts with um, making sure that we share the vision of that quality with everybody. We explain, um, we share, uh, and we make sure that we all know what we want to achieve and what we are going to, to do together. On a daily basis, don't negotiate anything. That's what we're trying to do, and that's a very difficult job. We want to be uh, 50 yards ahead of the pack. So far you're doing so good. I hope so. You are. What does the future hold for Royal Mansour? The future is bright. We are working on dining experience within the hotel, uh, make us a, a unique destination in Marrakech for food, a garden for the chef. We are working on designing, uh, creating uh, a staff academy for training. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, the future is bright and, uh, and the future belongs to Royal Mansour. I hope you're right. To come back. Thank you so much for your time. My it pleasure. has been such a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Unfortunately, my time here at Royal Mansour Marrakech has come to an end. Thank you so much for following Inspector Lux here. If you want to see more from Inspector Lux from the most luxurious hotels in the world, please subscribe or hit comment below or like, do whatever. Now it's time for me to go home to my little cold country, Denmark. Adios.